Setting up your Zebra printer involves five basic steps. First, install the printer drivers before doing anything else. Then, unbox your printer. After unboxing your printer, connect your printer to your computer, add power, and turn on your printer. Install some media and ribbon, and finally, ensure that you can print a label. Go to zebra.com slash zt230-info, click on drivers, and download the latest version of the Z-Designer driver. For the driver install, we are going to use the latest version of the Z-Designer driver. The following instructions will help you install a new Zebra printer using a USB connection. Download the latest printer driver from zebra.com. Double click on the driver executable file. The Installaware wizard opens to verify the software contents. On the Zebra Welcome screen, click Next. In the Select Destination screen, click Next. Once the complete installation screen appears, click Next. Select I have read the information above and click Next on the important information screen. Several installation screens will pass by. When the Completing the Zebra Technologies Wizard screen appears, deselect View Release Notes and run the Printer Installation Wizard. Click Finish. The Pre-installed Driver Package screen appears. Go to zebra.com slash setup and download Zebra Setup Utilities. Follow the instructions on installing Zebra Setup Utilities. We will need Zebra Setup Utilities after connecting the printer. Unboxing your printer. Carefully cut the packing tape on the box. Try not to damage the box and save it in case you ever need to return your printer for service. Remove the documentation packet. In this packet, you'll find a quick start guide, a safety and compliance guide, and a support quick reference card. You can set aside the documentation packet for now. Lift the packing material out of the box so you can see the printer. The ZT230 weighs about 30 pounds, so carefully lift it out of the box using the protective bag and set it on a firm table or counter. Remove the bag from around the printer. Also, remove any cords that are in the box and set them next to the printer. Note that you will need to provide your own USB cord for this printer. Connect your printer and power on. Now it's time to connect your printer to the computer and power it on. First, you'll need to remove the port blocker label from the USB port on the printer. The port blocker label is there to remind you to install the driver setup utility first. Plug the USB cord into the back of the printer and then plug the other end into your computer. Plug the power cord into the back of the printer and then plug it into an electrical outlet. Turn on the printer power. Since your printer doesn't have any labels in it, you'll see an error message on the control panel and the printer will be in pause mode. Don't worry, we're going to take care of that next. Installing media and ribbon. Before we can confirm the printer is ready to print, we'll need to install some media and ribbon. If your printer will be operating in direct thermal mode, you can skip installing ribbon. Open the media cover. Open the print head assembly by rotating the lever up. Pick up your roll of media. Carefully remove and recycle any dirty or torn labels on the outside of the media roll. You always want to make sure your media is clean when you load it into your printer, because dirty media with dust or particles on it can cause damage to the print head and over time, degrade your print quality. Fold down the media hanger guide and slide the roll of media onto the hanger. The labels should come over the top and hang down towards the front of the printer. And here's a handy tip. There's a media loading image on the inside of the printer for reference if you ever have any questions. Fold the media hanger guide up and slide it until it almost touches the media. It's there to keep the media in place, but you don't want it so close that it restricts the media roll from turning or rubs against it. We'll leave the media like this for the moment while we install ribbon. Place the ribbon on the ribbon supply spindle. The ribbon should come over the top and hang down towards the rear of the printer the opposite way that the media goes. Again, just check the handy loading label to be sure. If your printer does not have an empty ribbon core already installed, put one on the take-up spindle. Feed the ribbon under the print head assembly and up and over the top of the ribbon take-up core. Wrap the ribbon around the core several times to get it started 
and then rotate the spindle to tighten and align the ribbon. Pull the media guide all the way out towards you. Load the media. You can slide it in from the side, but make sure it goes under the dancer and under the print head assembly and out the front. You should have at least 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters of media out in the front of the printer. Push the media guide in so it almost touches the edge of the media. Slide the media sensor so the sensor light, the red dot you see, is at the center of the media. And then you can close the print head assembly. And then press the pause button to enable printing on your printer. The ribbon and media error you might have seen when you first powered up the printer should be gone now. And several labels will feed out as the printer auto calibrates. If you have any special setups, such as a cutter or peel setup, you can check out our videos for loading media in those configurations. If you have special media shapes or considerations, take a look at the manual calibration video for more information. Print a label. Now that you know your printer is ready to print, it's time to confirm it's communicating with your computer. On your computer, open Zebra Setup Utilities. In the top area, select your printer's icon. Then, click the Open Printer Tools button. On the Print tab, select Print Configuration Label and then click Send. Congratulations! Your Zebra ZT230 printer is ready to print from your application. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos on how to use your ZT230 printer.